Okay. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, y'all. I was going to do this when I woke up, but um, I figured I'd just get it done now because it wasn't really much to talk about. Um, I see it started off where it left off last week. Um, Monice did not like something that Arkbar said. And you know, Arkbar just say all kinds of crazy stuff to women. Um, and she picked up her shoes, get ready to throw it, child. I was just like, Lord, what's going on? Alejandro, her strong self, she's sitting up on the stage and, you know, talking. And Nina's just completely trying to understand the process of a person who is so mentally controlled um now I'm just sitting there trying to understand the process too and I'm just and she just sitting there just as strong as she want to be saying all kinds of stuff and he 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 did he got me at a little point in my life and all this kind of stuff and I do anything for him I take a bullet for him and all this crazy stuff and crazy um I don't think that um I don't think that uh, Sade is as gone in the mind as Alejandro um, but yeah Alejandro's gone he he completely has taken advantage of that woman it's sad to see it's kind of crazy stuff on TV it's just like what in the world child Tierra Marie going back and forth you know looking like Lil Kim um, you know, got on back and forth with them and you know, uh it got to the point where she got upset and ended up leaving. She was just like, I'm tired of giving these people these five minutes of fame, I'm talking about get rid of them, I'm tired of them, it's either them or me, them or me, etc. They got K Michelle backstage. Um and you know, she was just back there um saying that, Hey, look, um she pretty much apologized to T Era because it, it looked very shady her talking to Arkbar and all that she was just like hell I'm not trying to join this harem, harem, harem of women um, I like Arkbar um, in, in terms of you know he's just a homie or whatever but I know he ain't shit you know um, and Tia Marie felt like because her and Kay had some kind of relationship that Kay owed her some something and, and in which I guess in terms of you know sister to sister like you know this guy ain't about nothing and so we on the same show together. I mean, I get that. But it's not like y'all were best of friends. But, okay, Tiara. K. Michelle actually apologized. She was just like, look. I'm from Memphis. You from Detroit. I know we fight. I know we fight. Ain't no on site for us. I know we fight. We got that temper. We feel things. And Tiara Marie agreed. She was just like, yeah, we do. And, you know, they just basically chummed it up and, and, and took one on the chin, child. So I was like, okay, what else happened, child? Um, it got into the whole Brooke storyline with Booby and Marcus. Booby wasn't there. It probably would have been a fight had he been there. I was asking Marcus about how he felt that um, Paris dropped the dime. He was just like, oh, I just let people do what they want to do and, and whatever. And Marcus just speaks in cold. He speaks in this hood, Bonix. <sighs> That's just like, just speak clear English, sir. Please. Can we for a second? Oh, you know, it's on site. It's whoop the whoop. It's this and it's that. And it's like, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's not how I live. You know, it's everything that he talks about, it's just very much so like, he's just trying to prove how hard he is. And it's just like, Marcus, if a big old truck runs you over, sir, you're going to get hurt just like everybody else. Stop it. Um, he says that Brooke is his lady. Um, you know, they talked briefly talked about Brooke being messy this season. She just chummed it up that she wants to apologize to anybody's feelings that she hurt. Um, but, you know, she's just a straightforward, uh, tell the truth type of person. And, you know, pretty much nobody, nobody gave Brooke any kind of fever. Nobody, nobody said anything to Brooke when Brooke kept all this stuff going this entire season. I was so disappointed in everybody. I don't know how everybody got Brooke, let Brooke off the hook with everything. Absolutely insane. 
Absolutely. Had that been Moniece, they would have nailed her to the coffin. Okay. Who else had they had that been? Uh, uh, um, had that been Lyrica, they would have nailed her to the coffin. Why? Why does Brooke get a pass? I don't know. I don't know. They got on the whole Amber Diamond situation. Um, you know, when, when Sean Love took off Amber Diamond's wig and beat the hell out of Bridget with it. Um, you know, it, they just skimmed over it because it was funny. It, it was. It was ridiculous. Bridget went trying to fight and, you know, it's just like, come on. Although I do believe Bridget can fight. You know, she's um, a stallion. She's an Amazonian woman. Um, very tall. Um... Uh, what else is going on? They got on Solo Lucci and Miss Nikki, baby. I look so good. I look so good. And who wouldn't want to be with me, baby? I look good. Oh, God. Miss Nikki, baby, you're so tired. You're so tired and foreign made. And, and um, Nikki, baby, you slept with the tree monster. Just get over it. You slept with Solo Lucci. It's okay. Allegedly, allegedly, but we know you did it. It's okay. You know, you had a little slight smirk on your face. So little Lucha was just going off. And it's just like, um, apparently Tierra Marie co-signed it. And, and she said she didn't watch, she didn't see any kind of intercourse. Um, but uh, Solo Lucha begged to differ. And it's just whatever. But just, the moral of the story is this. You ain't licking this. You ain't sticking this. And I got witnesses. Ask any nigga I've been with. They ain't hit shit. That is what they're talking to say. No. Um, the moral of the story is. Stop telling all your business. Stop telling men. Stop telling your homeboys. Who all you slept with. Women. Stop telling your homegirls. Who all you slept with. If people just keep shit to themselves. And keep their business to themselves. And gone about their day without spilling without spilling their own personal tea, they will be fine. The world would be better. That's what people don't get. If people just, you know, unless it's an emergency, something bad happens, you see something crazy happening, yes, do something, tell, call the police, fight, whatever. But if it's just some two things that happen between two adults, let it keep between those two adults, you know? Like, like, come on, it's it's ridiculous. I, I've never subscribed to that kind of lifestyle, telling all your business and who you slept with, who you with now, and for what, for what. Um, <clears throat> what else happened? Um, Princess Love and Moniz, they had a moment. Where they actually hugged it out. Um, Princess looked gorgeous. Um, not necessarily, I guess, what she had on. What she had on was pretty simple, but it was just her hair and makeup was really, really good. Um, but anyway, uh, they both apologized to each other, Monice and Princess. That's it. And they got up and hugged. Princess looked like we didn't know what she was going to do, but she actually hugged Monice and. You know, it, it was nice to see that. Um, is it gonna last? No, but it was nice to see it uh, on the reunion. Um, what else happened? K Michelle in Paris. Paris looked beautiful, by the way. Um, I didn't really notice her um, in the beginning. Paris looked gorgeous. She did. She really did. Her messy ass. Um, she looked really good. K Michelle looked pretty too. Uh, it was funny. Okay, Michelle, when she was out on stage, her hair was all done up. When she went backstage, it was all of a sudden frizzy and crazy. I was like, what the hell happened? But it was just like a few second walk. I don't know. Um, but, you know, they started to talk and it was just real quick. And, um, okay, Michelle, you know, she went trying to let Paris talk. And she was just like, you know, I, I love Paris. I would have did anything for her, you know, but she stole my money. You know, you was a fan off Twitter. I did everything for you. And, you know, for, for you to put your hands on me at my lowest point, knowing that I couldn't fight back, was, was off the chain. Like, how dare you, you know? 
Paris, you know, she was just like the fifty dollars was fifty dollars over three years. I shouldn't have did it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think it's fought on both ends um, with that whole situation, but ultimately it was her money, so I, I don't really know what to say. But Paris, you kind of we know who K Michelle is, but Paris, you kind of proven that you're not necessarily a loyal friend or you know anybody. It's it's not hard to believe everything that K Michelle says about you, because what have you shown on the show that you're messy, you're a troublemaker, you keep shit going, you know you just, child, you a lot, you a whole lot. You know a lot of people find you funny. I do find you funny at times, but in real life, I wouldn't want a friend like you. It has nothing to do with the whole money situation with K Michelle. It's just how you move. You're messy. I can't trust you with no kind of personal information. You're gonna go back and tell somebody. You drop pins. You drop the pin uh, that Monice was at the fashion show and told Princess. You drop the pin that Marcus was at A One and Lyricus. Um, Baby shower and and then told booby. It's it's like you you a dangerous person to to be around. Like uh uh-uh. no ma'am. Um, what else happened? Okay, Michelle saw the song. I believe it's called "Stay with Me" or something like that. Save me. I believe that's the name of. It. It's a pretty song, but she was lip syncing her life away. Um. What else is happening? It was just... I, um, K. Michelle can sing. Um, but I don't know. I feel like sometimes on her vo- on her records, it's too much auto-tune or something. Like, sometimes it just don't sound. I, I was just rather for her just just raw vocals just to give us that. But, um, you know, whatever. That was cool. Anything else that happened? <sighs> y'all, it wasn't... Uh, this part two really wasn't much. To be honest with y'all, it was nothing really much that um happened. Apparently, allegedly, uh, Bridget Kelly and Safari might be talking. She had on Safari's ring. So, I mean, I guess this is going to be the storyline for next season. It, it should be interesting. Next season of, of Love Hip Hop Hollywood, if, if everybody comes back. Um... I was just done. When, when nobody held Brooke accountable, when nobody was that mad at Brooke... I, I was just done. I was just like, what do, what do you say to this? I had nothing to say. I, I was just like, wow. The way she swerved out of that. Talent. Dangerous. Dangerous woman. Ariana Grande. Alright, you guys. I want to thank you for watching Love and Hip Hop Hollywood with me. Um, I've got some of my highest views on my um, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood reviews. Actually, more so than than Atlanta, um, New York, all the rest of them. But New York is coming up, so y'all um stay with me with that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, child. I'm gonna put on my New York voice a lot, um, especially since Joe Budden is back. Cause oh lord, that thing crazy. But guys, hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, make sure you guys click that uh, bell. So that you can no- get ooh, mm, manly. So that you can get notified whenever I upload a video and things. Don't you want to do that, yo? With that said, I'm Mr. Chalak. Mr. Chalak on Google Plus. Follow me at this King's World Instagram and Twitter at this King's World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. I think I worked it out where my links is is all there. Except for Snapchat. Hopefully it works for y'all. If not, y'all just hit me up or whatever on, on my social media or, or leave a comment in the comment section. Be like, hey, I can find your PayPal. I can find your Cash App, etc., etc. And, and, you know, I'll, I'll lead the way. Right, Carrie. Hello.